we are going to discuss the safety practices in basketball. So first, we are going to define what is a basketball. So basketball is one of the most popular sports in Australia or even here in the Philippines. So and is enjoyed by players and of all ages and skill levels. Basketball is a fast game with frequent and aggressive body contacts, so injuries can and occur. Okay, so what are the basketball injuries? So injuries by playing basketball are commonly caused by falls, player contact, awkward landings, abrupt changes in direction, and being hit by the ball. Common types of injuries are, so the first one is injuries to the lower body, mostly ankle sprains. So the second one, injuries to the hand, fingers, face, and feet. And the third one, knee injuries. So most likely the females are at higher risk of knee injuries than males. And the last one is the overused injuries are common in higher level players due to the duration of intensity of a play. So how to prevent a basketball injuries? So to prevent injury, you should first be prepared. So here are five pre-game habits to help you best prepare for a game. So the first one is rest. Your body needs rest. You can't perform at highest level if you're always tired. The second one is water. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Countless studies show not drinking enough water has a negative impact on your performance. And next is lock in. I know it is hard to stay game focused all day every game day. So set a time to lock in and become game ready mentally. Next is stretch. This may seem like a given, but it is something too many players take for granted. Okay, the last one is the routine. Having a set pre-game shooting or ball handling routine helps you lock in for the game because you know exactly what you need to do to get as best prepared physically as possible. The second one is wear the right gear or the proper attire. The main reason why you should wear proper gear while playing sports is that you want to play and be safe at once. With most sports involving several participants at a time as well as a lot of intense movements, anything can happen. So protecting yourself with the right sports gear is paramount. The third one is check the environment is safe. The court environment should always be evaluated for safety. Check to make sure there is a proper clearance between the court boundary lines and bleachers, posts, walls, or other structures that could cause injury. For the outdoor games, clear the court of any rocks or debris. Don't play in rainy conditions that could compromise footing or in extreme heat that could trigger heat illness. And the last one is know yourself and the sport. Okay, self-awareness is a fundamental to the success of sport interventions and equality associated with both developing and performance excellence. Okay, so those are the things that you should remember to prevent injuries in playing basketball. So next, let us proceed on what are the things you should prepare or to remember before playing basketball. So first, you need to attend training so your body is ready. It is clear? Okay. So the next one is warm up and stretch before playing of course you should do that before you play basketball so the next one is cool down and stretch after playing okay did you get it children okay very good okay so next wear the right basketball gear so when you're playing basketball make sure you wear a mouth guard preferably custom fitted at all times and next wear shoes designed for basketball of course and the last if you have a history of injury speak to your doctor or physiotherapist about appropriate bracing or protective gear okay okay so next 
check the basketball environment so as what i have told you earlier so you need to check the basketball environment if it is safe or not and remember to remove hazards such as stones and water from the playing surface make sure that the backboards and baskets are of a high standard securely mounted and well maintained make sure also the backboards their supports and walls are padded and make sure baskets and boundary lines are not too close to walls and fixtures and do not fix a basketball ring or backboard to break work okay so did you understand children okay very good so here are the other basketball safety tips so, general safety suggestions when playing basketball include Choose activities that are suitable or suited to your fitness level So, you need to know yourself first and the sports So, follow the rules and play fairly Know and use the right techniques for passing, jumping, and landing and shooting the ball Know how to use the equipment properly and safely, of course and never hang or ever swing on a basketball ring. Drink water before, during, and after play. Do not play in extreme heat or wet conditions where possible games should be rescheduled. So coaches, players, and parents should be aware of heat, illness, symptoms. So qualified first aid personnel like first aid kits, ice packs, and other stretchers should be available at all times. Telephone access to contact emergency services is very essential. Okay, so next we are going to discuss the response promptly to basketball injuries. If you or someone else is injured, what will you do? Okay, so I will give you the tips. Okay, so listen carefully and remember the things that I should discuss. Okay. So, if you or someone else is injured, it is very necessary to remove injured or bleeding players from the court immediately and seek prompt attention for injuries from qualified first aid personnel, of course, and make sure you are fully rehabilitated before returning to play. So, where to get help? Of course, to your doctor, sports physician, or physiotherapist and always call the triple zero for an ambulance in an emergency things to remember so basketball is a contact sport that can result in injuries the most common injuries are due to false contact awkward landings abrupt changes in directions and being hit by the ball using the right techniques and equipment of the sports can help prevent injury so i hope that you all are learn more about the safety practices and playing basketball and that would be all thank you